Okay, so long-acting beta agonists, these are bronchodilators that have a slow onset. They're long-lasting, and they're considered controller medications rather than rescue medications. And so it's important that you never recommend these for a patient who's experiencing an acute asthma attack or severe COPD exacerbation. And so some of the long-acting beta agonists you may see on the exam include salmeterol, formeterol, and R4-motorol. And those are individual long-acting beta agonists, but they can also be given with combined with an inhaled corticosteroid, such as Advair or Simbicort, on the exam. So be prepared for that. And so what I want you to remember for the exam is to recommend long-acting beta agonists for patients who are already taking short-acting beta agonists and corticosteroids, but they're still experiencing some symptoms. I also want you to remember not to recommend long-acting beta agonists for anyone who's having an acute exacerbation of asthma or COPD.